Well, your Max Track Live Doppler looks good now. There isn't a whole lot going on until you look a little closer. That pop just around E Town. And it's not just showing rain, it's also showing the possibility of some mixed precipitation. We had a cold front go through overnight and it is cooling things down. So don't expect to run around in shirt sleeves and 60s with sunshine again today. That is that's done. Uh, that's the moisture on the move, and it's all out west around E Town or uh, well past E Town, that's towards Evansville. Another E Town, I suppose you could say. And uh, there is a little hint of it possible this morning, but a better chance for more widespread precipitation later on today. So our rain chance has gone up as well as maybe a little something else. We have a wave of southern low pressure running along the cold front that went through overnight and it's going to work its way east and arc up the east coast. And with that track, we're going to stay in the colder air. We'll have just enough moisture to work with to keep things interesting. Still have a couple of flood warnings for flooding along the Cumberland, the Kentucky. Uh, down south, but overall we're in better shape as far as that goes and there's not a lot of precipitation coming. It should be fairly light, but it's going to be out there. So scattered showers likely and it'll be just cold enough in the northern Kentucky, southern Indiana that we could see a hint of a wintry mix, maybe a little bit of snow out there. Highs for the day should stay in the upper 30s. So uh, it will be cold enough to have snow, but not really cold enough to have much of an impact on the roads. And again, it should be a narrow band up around Covington, far northern Kentucky. Most of us just in for a cold rain. So watch it on the evening commute. And then beyond that, it's pretty quiet to start the weekend off. That's the precipitation total all the way through Saturday. We're going to measure it in a few hundreds to a few tenths of an inch. Sunday night, though, Sunday proper, boom, rain chance ramps up. A much more robust system comes in. On top of the fact that we could see heavier rain, we may be cold enough to mix some snow in on the back end of that one into early next week. 37 degrees now. We've got a dew point in the upper 20s. The air is pretty dry, and it's still 51 in Harlan, but it's freezing in Covington. So evidence of that cold front going through and that colder air still catching up to you down south. Look at the highs. A gradual climb as we bottom out in the low 40s after 60s yesterday, 40s today. And we make it back into the 50s by Saturday, but this is what's going to make you sit up and take notice early next week. An Arctic outbreak, temperatures crash. We are way down below our average high. And in fact, I was looking at some of our record low highs, our low maximum highs, low max, uh, meaning basically you just have a really cold day.